Hello guys, welcome to Unison's Weekly Chart Analysis. So, first of all, as usual, we're looking through the dollar index. Okay, as we can see from the chart, the dollar index has reached the low of September, 1st of September, which can be said to be a support point. So we need to observe for next week whether there will be a rebound. So if the price fall below the support, the price is expected to continue to fall. So from a technical perspective at this time, there's no short term direction for the time being. But judging from the candlestick chart of the market, the market has a strong bear market. Okay, next we'll look into the NZD USD. So the NZD USD uh, for the bull market is still continues. So although the price has been reversing, there's still a high degree of risk in short selling because the price continues to break through the resistance. If you want to go short, you can wait for the price to break through the trend line after a sharp drop and forms a continuous flag pattern before entering the market here to make a 30 point 30 pips stop loss short order okay so if the price continues to fall long for long term low risk traders can enter the market at these positions of course before entering the market, you must observe the 15 minute time frame from the candlestick chart showing if it's showing a reversal price pattern, then we can more accurately finding the price for a long entry. So if this currency pair does not show, does not appear these two situations, it is recommended not to enter the market. However, friends who still want to enter the market can enter the market by going long and avoid short orders to reduce your risk. Furthermore, we'll look into the AUD USD. So, as we can see, it's been a month for long rise. The price has reached its highest point since 1st of September. There are also reversal patterns. So if traders want to enter the market at risk, they can go short. The stop loss point can be placed 40 pips above the resistance level. So for friends who want to enter the market with low risk, also please wait for the price to fall sharply and break this trend line. Wait for the price to appear a continuation flag pattern, then only enter the market by going short. So according to the bigger time frame, it's recommended to go long like the NZD USD and we should wait for the price to pull back to this support level and then do a long entry. And last but not least, we'll look into the USD JPY. So as for the USD JPY, there's still no a definite direction for trading. However, if the prices rise to this resistance level, you can try enter the market by going short and hold for long term positions. There's still an arbitrage opportunity of 180 pips. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching.